Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hey there, energy enthusiasts! Welcome back to ReneeEnergy.com, your go-to source for all things renewable energy. In our last video, we kicked off our exciting series on green hydrogen by introducing you to the two main methods of producing this clean energy carrier, biological fermentation and electrolysis. If you missed it, be sure to check it out. In today's episode, we're diving deeper into the fascinating world of biological fermentation, also known as biohydrogen production. This process harnesses the power of tiny microorganisms to convert organic matter into hydrogen, all without generating harmful emissions. Pretty cool, right? But before we get into the nitty-gritty of how it works, let's take a step back and remind ourselves why hydrogen is such a big deal in the first place. As we mentioned in our last video, hydrogen is an incredibly versatile energy carrier that can be used to power everything from cars to homes to industrial processes. And when it's produced using renewable methods like biohydrogen production, it has the potential to be a truly sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. So, how exactly does biohydrogen production work? Well, it all starts with a process called anaerobic digestion. This is when microorganisms break down organic matter in the absence of oxygen, producing hydrogen as a byproduct. The organic matter can come from a variety of sources, such as agricultural waste, food waste, or even wastewater. One of the most promising microorganisms for biohydrogen production is a type of algae called Chlamydomonas reinhardt. This little green powerhouse has the amazing ability to produce hydrogen under certain conditions, like when it's deprived of sulfur. Scientists are excited about the potential of C. Reinhardt because it can use sunlight to power the hydrogen production process, making it a truly renewable energy source. But C. Reinhardt isn't the only algae species that can produce hydrogen. In fact, researchers have identified several other promising candidates, such as Cenidesmus obliquus and Chlorella vulgaris. These algae species have been shown to produce hydrogen at higher rates than C. Reinhardt, and they can also tolerate a wider range of environmental conditions. Of course, algae aren't the only players in the biohydrogen game. Certain types of bacteria, like those in the Clostridium and Thermotoga genera, can also produce hydrogen through fermentation. These bacteria can break down a wide range of organic substrates, from simple sugars to complex carbohydrates like cellulose. One of the key advantages of using bacteria for biohydrogen production is that they can operate at much higher temperatures than algae. For example, Thermotoga species can produce hydrogen at temperatures up to 80 degrees Celsius, 176 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes them well suited for industrial applications where waste heat is readily available. Another advantage of bacterial biohydrogen production is that it can be coupled with other industrial processes to create a more sustainable and efficient system. For example, some researchers are exploring ways to use the waste gases from steel production as a feedstock for hydrogen-producing bacteria. This not only provides a use for these greenhouse gases but also helps to offset the carbon footprint of the steel industry. One of the great things about biohydrogen production in general is that it can be done using materials that would otherwise go to waste. For example, researchers are exploring ways to use agricultural residues like corn stalks and wheat straw as feedstocks for hydrogen fermentation. This not only provides a use for these abundant waste materials but also helps to reduce the competition for land and resources between energy production and food production. In fact, some experts believe that biohydrogen production could be a key component of a more sustainable and circular economy. By turning waste streams into valuable energy and material resources, we can reduce our environmental impact and create new economic opportunities at the same time. Of course, there are still some challenges to overcome before biohydrogen can become a widespread source of clean energy. One of the main issues is the relatively low yield of hydrogen compared to other production methods. Researchers are working on ways to optimize the fermentation process and genetically engineer microorganisms to be more efficient hydrogen producers. Another challenge is the cost of scaling up biohydrogen production to an industrial level. While the process itself is relatively simple, it requires specialized equipment and expertise to operate at a large scale. This means that there will need to be significant investment in research and development to make biohydrogen production economically viable. 
Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of biohydrogen are too great to ignore. By producing clean hydrogen from renewable, waste-derived feedstocks, we can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and move towards a more sustainable energy future. And that's not all, the byproducts of biohydrogen production, like organic acids and alcohols, can also be valuable in their own right. For example, some researchers are exploring ways to use these byproducts to create biodegradable plastics or other eco-friendly materials. This means that biohydrogen production could be a key component of a more circular and sustainable economy, where waste is minimized and resources are used more efficiently. So, there you have it, a deep dive into the world of biohydrogen production. As research in this field continues to advance, we can expect to see more and more innovative applications of this exciting technology. We hope you enjoyed learning about the role of microorganisms in creating clean energy. Don't forget to like and share this video, and subscribe to ReneeEnergy.com for more great content on the latest developments in renewable energy. And as always, let us know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring the amazing world of green energy. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.